to do my homework. So I think that's true for most of the people here. But I wondered if you had any specific uh, habits, any of you, that helped you to get where you are, and you, which you formed from a young age. Mind your own business. Sorry? Oh, mind your own business. I mean, did you wake up at 7 o'clock? We're not you telling you about our habits. No, I think, I think, I think, I think <laughs> your, your, your requirement to do your homework, which I spoke about earlier, is a force of circumstance. The fact is, why would anybody go into a competitive environment, a competitive arena, on a level playing field, when you can tilt the balance in your favour by putting in the effort and the graft and the work to make sure you're better prepared, you know more than the next guy. That's it. It's not a case of getting up at seven o'clock in the morning. You might go, now look, there's four, on this panel four reasonably successful characters. And I've got to tell you, I then ask the others what hours they work. I know what hours I work, and I would be surprised if they didn't do as much, if not more. And that will be a lot more than your average person would think is necessary to make a living. And a lot of that goes into preparation. A lot of that means you've got, it, it, you don't see it. It's like an iceberg. It's below the waterline. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to be that iceberg. You've got to know more than the other guy. You've got to be quicker than him. You've got to know more. You've got to have done your homework and your research. And you've got to have answers that nobody else has. And you've got to have solutions that nobody else has. And as Thea says, how do you get in that position? You do your homework. And, and if you're not smarter than the other guy, he will be more successful than you. And it's a challenge. And if it's not a game to you, if it's not fun, if you're not a chess player, you won't understand what I'm saying. So if you... If, if, a lot of people who are successful in business either play backgammon or play chess, right? You've got to be one move ahead of the other guy. It's that simple. I don't play backgammon, but I play chess. Other people play backgammon, but it's the same principle. And, uh, and it, 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 it's a tournament. It's like tennis. Somebody wins and somebody loses. It's either Murray or the other guy. And in business, it's the same. We're all fighting for the Marks and Spencer's order or the Safeway's order or or a planning permission or whatever the hell it is, uh, some big government contract. You know, we're never the only one after it. There's always a group of people after it. They may not all be British, they may be foreigners. And we've got to understand their habits and their culture. Uh, and we do, to a large degree, um, uh, have an advantage in this country that by and large, the business we do as English people, by and large, unfortunately there are exceptions, we're honest, which is what I said earlier. And that counts for a lot in a lot of places. And where it doesn't count, walk away. Don't do the business. Tell them to get lost. You don't need to make money that badly to be dishonest. Be honest. If you've got to go around giving big bungs here and big bungs there and straightening this one and straightening the other one to do business, it's a bad thing. It will come back to haunt you one day somehow. So I think the fact that uh, we do our homework and we've just got an edge in technology, we've got an edge in whatever it might be, which all goes back to the homework, the research, the due diligence, putting the time in, making the effort, being well prepared, a good presentation, you know, good everything, um, you stand a chance of, 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 of doing the business. And hopefully, if you've done that right, it's a profitable business as opposed to a loss-making one. <laughs>